my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paris and this is my dog Ollie. It's his second birthday on August 18th, so I thought that I would celebrate his second birthday today by making a video and telling you guys about how we first met and how these last two years have gone for us. Um, I'm going to share some videos and some pictures over our lives of the last two years together and hopefully you guys uh, can come along with me and celebrate his second birthday with me. So I had met Ollie in December of 2018. I had gone with a friend of mine to go look for a husky puppy. Um, my friend had really wanted a husky puppy for himself, so I decided to be a good friend and go with him to support him, um, you know, just emotionally because I know that getting a new animal is exciting but scary and I thought that I would, you know, go along for the ride and help him and see if we could find him a husky. Um, so we had gone and right away found a husky for him and um, after that uh, while he was playing with the husky puppy I was wandering around looking at all the other animals and I saw Ollie and his brothers and sisters and he was um, the only boy in that litter um, he was four months old he was this tiny little well not tiny he was like <laughs> he was already like 10 pounds and you know pretty big for a, for a puppy, um, but he was four months old. This is in the beginning of December, um, and yeah, so I, when my friend was playing with the husky puppy, I saw this little guy, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just fell in love. Um, I really wanted to have, like, a doodle or a poodle or, you know, an oodle of some sort, and I always knew that I wanted a big dog, so um, I just absolutely fell in love with him. I decided to take him out, play with him for a little bit, and I'll put a video in showing that. with him for a little bit and really enjoyed my time ultimately I decided that I could not afford to take a puppy home um, so I regrettably left him there um, so this was in the beginning of December uh, after I had gone and seen him my friend got his husky puppy which was great um, that was really fun over the next two weeks uh, my cat Jumanji who I had briefly mentioned in my get to know me video um, had his health had severely taken a turn and um, had declined within about 24 to 48 hours so over those next two weeks his health had declined I so I um, had opted to try to do surgery um, leading up to December Jumanji had already had some health issues um, and had had previous surgeries done um, so I had opted to do a third surgery and um, this time Unfortunately, things could not be repaired as they had been repaired before. So I had to make the tough decision to, um, you know, let Jumanji go and um, have a final rest. Um, so I had put Jumanji down. I was severely depressed. Um, you know, I had really high anxiety. I'd never lived alone alone. Um, I'd always had Jumanji. I had Jumanji for about four years. And prior to that, I had always had roommates. Um, I got Jumanji with my last roommate, my best friend Ashley, um, when we had lived together. And so I had him for about four years. Um, and at this time, um, I'm living alone and I had never lived alone without having another companion or somebody to spend my time with or talk to. Um, so my family and I every year in Christmas, it, well in December, we go to Estes and we do just like a little shopping, um, you know, we walk around the Stanley Hotel, spend time with each other, get some last minute gifts and um, I was telling my mom about Ollie. I was telling her, you know, I saw this cute little black poodle, he's a standard poodle. Um, you know, I absolutely fell in love with him, with him. I was showing her pictures, I was showing her video that I took of him, and, um, you know, I was just really trying to show her, like, I love this dog, and, you know, she was like, oh, well, you know, you live in a one-bedroom apartment, I don't think it's a great idea, and, you know, I was like, I was like, you know, well, I've, I've never lived alone, and, um, you know, my depression is starting to be really bad, and, 
I'm feeling anxious, I don't have anybody to come home to, and you know, all these things were true. Um, I, I didn't feel like myself without having somebody at home to come home to or, you know, just sleep with. Like, I was so used to sleeping with Jumanji next to me every night and waking up to him. Um, so, anyways, this was on our way home from Estes. We're driving home, and I was like, you know, could we maybe just possibly just go and see if he's still there at this time it had been like two weeks later so I, in my mind i was like you know if he's not there it's not meant to be it's fine um you know but if he is there it's meant to be and um <laughs> i'm not gonna say that i was scheming but uh but i was scheming you know i knew that if i showed my mom this dog she w would have no choice but to fall in love with him and have to get him for me so um, so we went and he was still there. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to play with him. So I, you know, started playing with him. We were enjoying our time and about an hour passed and my mom was like, you know, we should probably head home. Um, you know, it's getting late. I'd like to drop you off so that I can go home. And, uh, you know, I was like, oh, I just, I just can't leave without having, I can't leave without taking this puppy home. So my mom decided that she would, you know, give me some more time to play with the puppy and little did I know she was actually off talking to um, the manager or whoever it was of this, of where he was and um, was actually negotiating prices with them to uh, help me get him. Um, so Ollie is actually a standard poodle and he is purebred. Um, he has papers and everything, so um, that also means he was very expensive. Um, we ended up being able to negotiate a pretty fair price for for him, and um, my mom helped me get him. Um, <laughs> she did tell me never to ask her for anything again because she was like, this is the most expensive Christmas present you'll ever get, but um, Merry Christmas, don't ask me for anything. <laughs> um, but I am thankful that she did because it has having him here and at that time you know during the holidays my cat just died um, it was nice to have um, a companion to come home to and you know who doesn't love a puppy he was so cute he was so cute um, anyways so <clears throat> so now I take him home we're driving home and he's sitting on my lap and I'm so excited, this puppy, I can't wait to, you know, take pictures of him and just like cuddle with him and kiss on him and love on him. And we get home and the minute that we park, literally the second that she puts that car in park, he pukes all over me, all just like down the front of my shirt. He pukes all over my legs, all over the passenger seat. And my mom died. She was just like, oh my God, like, just died and um, Ollie got his first bath that night so uh, he got a bath I had to do laundry <laughs> and clean up a huge mess but definitely worth it that was a great first memory with Ollie um, so after that uh, after giving him his bath I realized you know I've never taken care of a puppy before in my life and I live in a one-bedroom apartment I live on the third floor um, I really did not know what I was in for um, you know, as far as potty training and, um, you know, what I was going to do. I knew that puppies chewed on things, so, um, you know, I was worried about leaving him out in the house while I was gone at work because, like I do now, I work, you know, Monday through Friday, and it's basically an 8 to 5 job. Um, it's a little different than that, but... Um, you know, I am gone a lot of the time throughout the day and as a single person with n no roommate, no significant other to help me potty train him or watch him throughout the day, I knew I had to do something. And the next day was Monday and I had to go back to work. <laughs> so I decided to go and get him a kennel and that night we started kennel training. Um, he did not sleep, he's never slept in his kennel unless I'm, I was gone throughout the day, but um, he's never at night slept in the kennel. He's always slept with me. I still let him sleep in bed with me because we just, it's nice having another animal or something there um, to cuddle with. So anyways, um, we started kennel training right away, like the night that I got him, and um, potty training was really hard because, um, you know, 
he was so young he was only four months old and really had never had experience outside of like a kennel setting um because where he was living was a kennel setting and um so it was really like starting at ground zero with him uh but he was good uh for the most part he never um, he never had accidents in his kennel, which I was surprised because they say that puppies can typically um, not have to go to the bathroom for as old as they are. So if he's four months, um, he can go four hours without having to go out to go to the bathroom like that. But since he was, you know, primarily in a kennel setting where he would just go potty in his kennel, um, you know, he really didn't have that like, oh, I got to hold my pee until my mom comes home but he was good he never had any accidents in his kennel while we were kennel training and um, he really never had any accidents in the house um, he is a good boy I haven't used the kennel in probably six months we kennel trained for about a year it's been six months since I've used the kennel so um, he's done really well uh, I never use the kennel to punish him uh, he he likes his kennel. I don't know if he goes in there now while I'm gone from work. I leave it open. I It's still in my living room. I leave it open and it has his blankets in there. Sometimes I throw his toys in there if I don't want them all over the house. But um, yeah, I never put him in the kennel anymore because he's good outside of it. Um, he doesn't really chew on a lot of things. We are still working on that though. I have come home to, you know, destroyed, destroyed um, toys and um other things he's pretty good about not chewing on my own personal stuff like he really doesn't chew on my shoes or anything like that he has destroyed a few chargers though so that hasn't been great but um <clears throat> other than that he's a really good boy huh so i thought that um i would maybe insert some videos of ollie and i over the last two years maybe some photos but I really do appreciate you guys watching and celebrating with me. And um, I hope you enjoy the little pictures and videos of us together. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and celebrating Ollie's second birthday with me. I know that he really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed sharing our story about, you know, how we first met. Um, there's not a lot to tell after that. It's just been living day to day together, getting to know each other. And he's been a really good boy. He's a great companion, and um, I hope to be able to spend many, many years with him. Um, so let's have a celebratory cookie really fast. These are from Three Dog Bakery. They are chocolate chip flavored cookies, um, and they're safe for dogs. Okay, Ollie, here you go. Oh, that one's broken. <laughs> Okay, so this is what they look like. They have like these little chocolate flavored chips in them, but it's not chocolate. It's safe for dogs, um, obviously. But here you go. Happy birthday, Ollie. We love you. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ollie. Yawn. A good yawn. You're so freaking cute. <laughs> wow. 
What are those birds doing? <laughs> We lost our first tooth. <laughs> Did you lose your tooth? There it is, look, and it's already coming in. Did you learn that? <laughs> I'm dead. Ollie! <laughs> Can I hit it from the back? Oh, Can I hit it in the morning? <laughs> Mike, he just, he just loves it. You're being crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that, Ollie? What is that? You don't know. Come here. Do you want this? Sit down. Good boy. Okay. Really? Come on.
All right. excited what are you excited about hmm? you want this this is a hat you can't have this <laughs> that's mine that's my hat you can't have you can't have it Ollie, sit down. Good boy. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Get it! Bring it back! Good boy! You gotta drop it! <laughs> Good boy. Ollie, what are you doing? Get over here. Sit. You leave. You. You leave. <laughs> you leave Miss Lola alone. She paused for like five seconds and was like, she wanted to act like she didn't know how to do it. 